Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so uh, our game is called uh, The Giant Leap, uh, and it's kind of a, uh, a space. It has the form of a space shooter, only you can only uh, jump off an asteroid. You can't fly the spaceship. Uh, and our initial, initial idea was just to make a kind of a simple space game uh, and then tie something in to uh, finding planets uh, or finding planets that could have ecosystems uh, so we could get some of the uh, formula in there. Yeah. yeah, so we just have a normal start history, like history on where we are heading, and then game controls so you know how to, you know, play the game, of course. You can just press play space, and then you will start. You can then press space to scan the planet, and the color of the planet, the, the or planet. the asteroid, I mean, not the planet, and the asteroid then loses its, its flight, okay, and you can jump off. To get to other asteroids. And so the story of the game is that in this region of the galaxy, there is was has been a planet and it's recently exploded. So you've picked up some signals, uh, and you've been sent out on a mission to check if this planet could have been a planet with an ecosystem or could have developed life. So uh, you your mission is to scan all the asteroids. Uh, in this area and try to find signs of life uh, and if you do that you win the game yeah and while you're flying around you also have to collect fuel to keep your fuel level up since each time you launch you use a certain amount of fuel and there's a certain amount you there's a certain percentage that you can find some more when you visit an asteroid yeah, after uh, you visited about uh, 10 asteroids, you might uh, start to discover life. That's a certain percentage uh, random chance on each asteroid, whether or not you find life. When you do, you won the game. Yeah, and you can also die in the game. So if you reach the end of the asteroid field, uh, you just get flung out in space. You just keep drifting, and then you lose the game. And you can also uh, run out of fuel. So if you don't collect enough fuel, or if you're unlucky and don't find fuel, uh, you'll die, or you'll get picked up by uh, your mothership or something. Uh, and you could hit a black hole and just disappear. Or a white hole that will teleport you to another white hole instead. So that, that's kind of just a feature. Just a, a bit more fun to the game. You don't have to jump all around all the time. Um, the assets for the asteroids asteroids are taken from the uh, data resources, data sources, sources, and so the one we're approaching now is the Cleopatra asteroid. And I can't remember the name of all the others, but we took about some about the first six or seven. Six or seven. So that's why you can see that they are same types repeating. Yeah, so these are the 3D models that we got and the only thing we've done with them is stick on a texture uh, of an asteroid or so something like the surface of an asteroid and then we have uh, added some colliders so you can land the ship on it. And we, there you can see, he's won the game. <laughs> uh, so we built the game on Unity uh, and we've just just made a spaceship sprite and used the models of uh, the asteroids. Yeah. So that's kind of the, and some effects. Uh, and we've also used some of the I images from the data sources as backgrounds, like this one. And we've tried to integrate that into our game, so yeah. use some data. Yeah. So what's, what's missing in the game? Uh, well, a lot of the collisions sometimes. Because when sometimes you hit the asteroid, your ship doesn't turn around, so it just launches and it can be stuck in place. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't stop; it just goes flying through the space with a giant rock on its head. So, so when we got it to like, uh, uh, it most often sticks. So 
it's much better than it was when we started. Uh, and you can see also sometimes the col the collision detection is kind of a couple of pixels off. So, uh, and we also should, if we were to publish the game, mm -hmm. we would add some better textures and just upgrade the art a lot because this is just uh, the texture on the asteroid is kind of low res and just kind of made really quick. Uh, and you can see it's kind of glitchy and it doesn't, uh, it's not seamless. So it's just a square. Uh, square. Uh, and we would also add some more, more, maybe more levels with more, more stuff to do. More stuff to do and more stuff that could interact. With you could interact with some, yeah. maybe some enemies if you were to find life, some alien enemies or. Uh, yeah, that's about their cosmic Me Meteor events. showers, so you could die. Mm -hmm. Comets flying through the space that uh, might collide into you. And we would also add more to the story, and like have different missions where we try to do different things. Uh, yeah. Like uh, maybe on one level there is a planet, and you have to go in orbit around that to find something. Or yeah. No, I yeah. can't make a glitch appear. <laughs> <laughs> we usually get it all the time, right? Not now. Well, yeah, it's good. So, what what was easy and what was hard during the process? How did um, you work throughout the, those three days? Well, we we started working separately, and one was made the took the asteroids and uh, tried to make the physics. So they they kind of go. They float around, but they kind of stick in the same, to the same place uh, unless they collide or or get collided with the ship. So we we try to play around with um, some of them just stay in one place and rotate, and some of them move more than others. So they they kind of have a different weight to them, uh, so it's kind of unpredictable. And then some of us made the ship physics, so try to make the ship stick to an object and move kind of realistically. Uh, as well as for making the menus and seeing yeah. that. Like, Sitting so down, creating the story. Yeah. yeah. So the hardest part, I think, was making the ship stick yeah, to the no. normal of the of the surface. The surface. Yeah. Because uh, that was that was kind of hard, so we couldn't we couldn't find out how to do that in Unity. Uh, we also had some problems with the the putting textures on the models because we. <laughs> We'd never worked in Blender before, so it kind of took some time. That that was easy once we found out how to do it. So um, we also played around a lot to try to tweak the, the asteroid physics. So it didn't in the start. They just when you hit it with your ship, uh, it just went crazy and flew all around the place. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of the hardest part. Yeah, yeah. So uh, minimap to see where we are. Because it's kind of hard to see where to go on the big screen. Because mm -hmm. you can't see, well, you don't even see the closest one here. So you have to see a minimap and the green color to show where you are. Because mm -hmm. it's freakishly hard to see where you are if you don't have that color. Yeah. Um, so we tried, we tried to make a basic prototype on Friday. Uh, and then we just worked on mostly adding new fe features one by one uh, yesterday. And today we did some playtesting and tried to optimize the game as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we kind of got done an hour ago, the last last tweaks, so before we could be happy with the result. Yeah. Is but the fuel consumption depending on how long you're flying? No. no. Well, you the fuel not. is on the thrust because okay. you have one. one you, you have one burst of energy when you leap off the asteroid, mm -hmm. and you use then 10 fuel. And in the air, you can take two bursts of the sides, yeah. depending on which one you want to go, and then you mm -hmm. use five fuel. So mm -hmm. we found out it was way too hard to to just have the one thrust forward, mm -hmm. because then you could end up just drifting for a really long time, and uh, missing asteroid by this much, and then floating out to space. So we found out that if you have a limited amount of side boosters, then you could could have much more fun and try to actually play the game instead of having to time it so perfectly 
mm-hmm. um, you'd have more fun and could play the game a little bit at a faster pace. Yep, sounds good. Do you guys have any questions? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Yep. Yeah.